assalamu alaikum dear student i hope you are fine and doing well uh, this is again a continuation of our previous uh, lecture uh, we will discuss uh, once again uh, something uh, about uh, uh, some basic fundamentals which will be quite useful in uh, a discrete log uh, log uh, problem so exponentiation and logarithm exponentiation i mean to say dear student when y is equal to a power x and logarithm i mean to say x is log of a uh, log of y to the base a uh, dear student these are uh, reciprocal of each other and uh, we will have to uh, uh, find the uh, cos exponentiation uh, methodology uh, how one can use uh, cos exponentiation let us take one example let uh, how can we calculate a to the power b like this one uh, like uh, like this one if you can see a to the power b mod c quickly for any b that is uh, five, 5 to the power 117 mod 19 so we divide power into a uh, into a what you call the power of 2 by writing it in binary so it binary is like this one so uh, then we will have to start with uh, from uh, if the digit is one we will need a uh, part for two raised for k then otherwise we will do not uh, do not add one to k and move left to like uh, to the uh, next digit like this one two to the power uh, zero and then two to the power Two and, and then two to the power four and uh, like this uh, uh, let me start at uh, rightmost uh, like this one uh, rightmost it is this one then uh, for each digit so uh, if the digit is one like this one we need a part for two to the power k and otherwise we do not if uh, add one to k and move from left to next digit like this one so if uh, you can say uh, this is two to the power zero and then two to the power two uh, then two to the power four and then two to the power uh, five and then two to the power in that case uh, uh, you just uh, convert this uh, from uh, decimal to binding notation if you know it this is a just a binding to decimal notation if it's 17 is can be written as a a naught x to the uh, 2 to the power 0 plus a 1 uh, 2 to the 2 to the power 1 plus a 2 2 to the power 2 in that case this is just the notation so i just calculate this this some notation and take is 5 to the power this one and mod it uh, 19. so uh, this is just a multiplication so i have to solve for each mod like this one this one first step 5 to the power mod 19 is 5 and that's of the calculation I have calculated and uh, finally uh, uh, I just uh, take uh, five, 5 to the power 17 and uh, separately I will have to solve it 5 into 15, 16 into 9 into so this will be 5 to the power 117 mod 19 is 1 in that case this is one of the method uh, call it pass exponentiation so uh, power of integers uh, mod 19 like um, if a is here 1 so a is 1 so a to the power 2 is 1 a to the power 3 is again 1 if a is 1 
So in that case, the, all the rows, uh, row, first row will be one. If A is two, like uh, generate uh, a, a is two in that case. So two, two to the power two, four, two to the power three, eight. In that case, here you can see the whole uh, element of uh, Z19 static will be generated. So similarly with three, the whole, uh, all the element, all the possible element of uh, modulo 19 except zero will be generated. Uh, so the, from four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, these are uh, not generating the whole, uh, all element, all possible element of uh, Z19 static. In that case, uh, these are not generated for, but two, three, and then uh, you can say this one uh, 10 and then uh, 13 14 15 these are basically generator of uh, z19 static but uh, uh, all other are not generator of uh, what you call uh, z19 static so order of group uh, what is the order of uh, uh, group basically order of the group is the fundamentally the number of element in a group so uh, group z uh, 21 static under uh, modulo uh, under multiplication as of the uh, uh, order 5 of 21 and 5 of 21 can, uh, 21 is can be written as a product of 3 into 7 Three and seven are uh, relative length, so we uh, separately apply like five of three into five of seven, so two into six is twelve. There are basically twelve elements in this groups. Uh, all are relatively prime uh, with twenty-one. So uh, the order of an element, uh, like uh, if you can see over here, the find the element of uh, order of element in the tens uh, under multiplication. So the uh, the group has only uh, four elements, that is one, three, seven, nine, those inverses are possible. Uh, so whenever the student I'm writing Z10 static, it means I have to take unit element. Uh, a unit element, I mean, so the was inverse is possible. So one to the power one, uh, common to one mod 10, so order of one is one, so three into four mod, so it's common to one mod 10, so order of three is four, so, uh, so in that case, uh, if you can look over here, uh, the student uh, uh, seven to the power four is common to one more ten. The order of uh, what you call the uh, uh, the. So let me do it. So in that case, the student, if you can look over here, uh, so the order in the of uh, what you call uh, nine uh, to the uh, two is common to one more ten. In that case, order of nine is two. So primitive element is the element uh, uh, that generate the all uh, uh, element of a group. Uh, in the in is in in that case, if you can look over here, if I can take a as one, so x will be a to the power one is one, a to the power two is again one one one. So in that case, a is not generating all element. And so here, if you can look over here, so in that case, a one, a three, a five, and a seven are not basically generating the whole element because there is a repetition one one so the order of uh, what you call the uh, a is one order of three is again two and then the order of five is again two and the order of seven is three so uh, so the primitive uh, element of the is the element called uh, primitive is that uh, when the order of uh, element is the same as uh, phi of n. So phi of n is the basically the order of g. If any element has uh, order phi, phi n, then in that case it, it will be a primitive uh, root of the group. 
So uh, dear student in Z eight star in the phi of eight is four. The order of element are all smaller than four. So in that case, there will be no primitive root in Z eight star. So let us take one example. Uh, 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 that in uh, table nine point five shows that uh, eight to the power i common to x mod seven for the group this and in this case group uh, five of seven is six so this is one of the table that if i take a generator as one two three four five six so i take i is equal to one so my result will be one 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 so two two to the power one two two to the power three uh, two four two to the power three again one so there is a repetition so a to the power uh, a is in that case if a is three a three to the power one is three three, three to the power two is two under mod seven so here you can see the these two uh, rows like this one the blue uh, 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 yellow one so they, that generate all element of Z uh, seven static. It means uh, uh, except zero, all the element of Z seven uh, seven static is generated through this uh, these values of a five and a three. In that case, a three and a five are basically the primitive root or generator of Z seven. The group Z and static under multiplication as primitive root or uh, there is a generator only if n is 2 4 or p to the power t or 2 times p to the power t uh, let us uh, find out the element that for what values of one does this uh, group this has primitive to 17 20 30 50 so if uh, n is 17 that has primitive root and seven, because 7 is uh, 70 is prime 20 has no primitive root because this cannot be written in this uh, form 20 cannot be written in this form in any of this form so 38 has primitive root because uh, 38 can be written as 2 into 19 so 2 into 19 p and here t is 1 so 50 uh, has uh, primitive rules because 50 can be written as 2 into 5 power 2 and 5 is prime. So uh, dear student uh, noted down that if group G uh, with uh, Z and static uh, under multiplication has uh, uh, any primitive root, the number of primitive root in this will be 5 into 5 of N. Uh, so, uh, dear student, uh, the, uh, this is uh, uh, our uh, lecture number 17. So, we will discuss more about uh, some basic uh, terms uh, which will be quite helpful in public key cryptography in our next lecture. Till then, Allah Hafiz and uh, please stay at home. May Allah bless you all.